What is up guys and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon. You may wonder what in the world's going on with my messy hair. Well, I've been out in this Alabama humidity searching for lost history. We're actually going to be going into these woods right here and searching behind what was once a booming town. And I'm going to take the time to show you all a couple of the old homes here that were abandoned and sadly they are phenomenal to, do, to have just been left behind. With that being said though, let's go jump in the water and go see what we can find. So, brand new creek, doing some prospecting, and the very first thing I look down and see is this doorknob right here. That's always a good sign. There is some thicker glass here. That would have been a 1915 Cherokee. So I know I'm in a good spot. And then I look a little bit further, and lo and behold, there's a gun laying right here on top of the ground. Now, is it a BB gun? Probably. The way the barrel looks though, it could be a shotgun. I'm thinking, I see a rake up there, tons of brick. Oh man, I think I see a bottle up there too. Crap, I'm gonna have to lay this gun piece down. I don't even have my waders on because I was just kind of on a whim on this spot right here. And I'm probably gonna let the camera just roll being a brand new spot because it could be loaded. I honestly don't think anybody's ever looked in this spot. It is well hidden. There's the old rake right there. This is gonna be 40s trash, it looks like. You can see it's got the measurements on it. Just slowly come down through here. I'm looking for embossed bricks. I'm looking for good bottles. I'm looking for porcelain signs. I'm looking for anything that most people would think was trash and just walk by through the years. There's the bottle I saw. Uh, sadly, that's probably gonna be an ACL that has wore off. That's all right though, I see more bottles. So we're gonna keep walking. And if I find stuff that I think y'all will be interested in, we'll turn the camera back on. And actually I see something right now that I think that you're going to be interested in. Walk a little bit further up. Right there's an embossed brick or debossed. Oh, it looks like it's just half of it. Yep, that one's broken in half. It looks like it would have said Southern, no. So, let's keep going. I'll turn the camera back on here in a few minutes. There's a toilet. That's not what I'm looking for. There's a snuff jar. And the glass is continuing. And I try not to get my hopes up when I get in a new spot like this one. However, it is looking incredibly promising. The mosquitoes are very, very, very bad here. I will say that I am seeing some stuff that is interesting though as I walk along. A lot of it has been ACL. Oh, that's not quite old enough. 1994. <laughs> that looks nice and thick though. Let's see if that's got any embossing on it. That one does not. However, that 1915 Chero is just telling me that there's something good here. It's just going to be buried amongst all of this modern garbage, sadly. So we're going to keep going though. I'm, I just, I feel like I'm going to find something today. You ever get one of those gut feelings? <laughs> Y'all know what that is right there? It should be a bear aspirin. Give it a quick rinse. It says Company Inc. Yep, right there. The bear. We'll take that. It's not as old as what we like to find. However, it is embossed. And it is a nice little med. There's a broken Coke bottle over there. I mean, I'm finding more and more stuff that's just stacked in here. I mean, I don't even know what all it is. It's just loaded with trash. We could be right on top of a dump. And without my probe and being ill-prepared, I wouldn't know it. Here's an interesting piece. I think that's a Dr. Groves. I can't remember the, the chilled, tasteless remedy, I think. I forget. These are fairly common, but that's going to be from the 20s. So we're getting back into an older pocket right here which gives me a little bit more hope. All right, I see it looks to be a little bit older bottle. It's probably not going to be embossed. You see it right there? Nope, it's a slick and it was a screw top, but that's gonna be probably from the 1930s. So we're still hot on the trail. All you can do is when you're finding glass like this, just keep going and hope that you hit that older pocket. I think I see a corker there be whole and be embossed oh it is embossed oh crud 
syrup of black drought. I've never found one of those. Wow, it's actually whole. I have no idea what that is, but syrup of black drought. Y'all know, drop it in the comments below. If I have time to do some research, I'll be sure to drop a little info box on it. There again, brand new creek, just following the trail to a nice cork medicine of some type, probably some kind of quack cure. We got something right here. I don't know what it is. Wynn. I don't know where, what wind it's from. I'm setting my bottles down right here. I'm gonna come back and grab them here in just a second. I've just got to a point where, like I said, I'm not prepared, so I'm not carrying a ton. There's an ink. How about that? <laughs> it was laying there, just covered up. Let's see what it says. Keller, Detroit? Who knows? Just got another one. St. Joseph's. Not a very rare bottle, but I am sweating. And now I hear something that sounds like a tow truck. And I did park on the side of the road and I'm a little bit worried. So I'm about to have to speed through the rest of this creek. <laughs> Make sure my truck doesn't get towed and I get stuck down here. So I walked back and checked on the truck. The truck was okay. Must have been the garbage van going by. Right here though, when you're ill prepared like me, you're always looking for stuff to help you. This tree blew over probably in one of the last storms. And I'm trying to figure out whether this is a dump site or not because of the amount of glass I'm finding. Now I see no glass in that root ball. So that tells me that more than likely it's not a dump, at least on that side of the creek. So now I've kind of narrowed it down a little bit to this side over here. We're gonna walk around up here for a few minutes, see if we see anything and go a little bit further down creek. There's too much promise here to just drive away and forget about it. Right under this bank right here, there's a bottle judging by the age and the shape looks like it's gonna be a Dr. Pepper, but let's find out. Uh, yep, that is a 10, two and four Dr. Pepper from Birmingham, Alabama. And y'all know that these aren't super old, but I never find them. And that is a good one. That is the good for life one that says 10, two and four on the back. Doesn't have any heel damage or lip damage. So we're absolutely gonna take that. And hopefully there'll be more where that came from. All right, this could be the oldest bottle of the day. Just judging by the hill right there. I could be right or I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I got a straight side Coke. Booyah. <laughs> Look at that. Straight side Coke from Selma, Alabama. And that is the shoulder script with absolutely no damage. And that is phenomenal. It's got the Coca-Cola on the bottom. It's got the Coca-Cola on the shoulder. It's got the Coca-Cola on the side right there. That is one of the tri-script ones. Now here's another bottle right here. Let's see if we can rake that one out. Looks like somebody threw a barrel of trash right here a long, long time ago. That's probably why I'm finding more bottles right here. It's gonna be a deco of some sort. Let's see if I can get anything off of it. No town or anything on that one, it doesn't look like. That's okay. We got a straight side coke in a brand new creek today. It's not every day that you can do that. Holy cow. Let's keep going. See what else we can come up with. I am done. I got too hot. <laughs> it is super hot out there. I did change my shirt. That's okay though. We found some pretty cool stuff to be just jumping into a creek we've never been in before. I'm excited to return in the winter and see what else we can find. But I do want to show you all those homes like I promised in the beginning. Let's go take a look at those. This looks like something straight out of a horror film. Could you imagine growing up across the road from this house right here? You can tell that the columns in the front are falling, which is allowing that porch roof to fall. And this thing is on its very last legs. It looks like it's got some storm damage with a tree in front of it absolutely amazing home i would love to restore this thing makes you wonder who owns it it does have a tin roof on it but that's not protecting it from the trees that are touching the roof like this one right up here so this thing's not long for this world sadly but it was a beautiful home in its era check this house out right here holy moly i mean just a monster mansion that is just in very very bad shape now this home is brick on the sides. The chimney is still standing. The columns in the front are mostly intact. However, it looks like the second story balcony is on its last legs. What's insane to think about is all the homes that I filmed so far are within three blocks of each other. And it just kind of just shows you once the neighborhood starts to go downhill, I guess it all goes downhill. But man, I can't imagine letting something that has that much history behind it go to waste. That's just an amazing home. What a day, guys. To find a new creek and then to step right in there and find a bottle that's over 100 years old, 
is kind of unheard of. I'm very excited to have found this straight side coke right here. Even though it's from Selma and not from the town that I was in, that's okay. I'm excited to have it. It's going to clean up really nice from what I can tell. I know it's muddy and I know I never show you these things cleaned up like I should, but that's for a good reason. That's because my tumbler's so backlogged with so much stuff to clean that I don't have time to get to it in a timely manner. So if I waited to do that, we would never have a video, but I will try to do a better about posting pictures in the community section for y'all. We did find that deboss Dr. Pepper as well. This was a milk bottle over here. Uh, Clayton was able to ID that for me. I found a piece of it and I didn't know what it was. I wanted him to see if he could figure it out. Of course, y'all know his knowledge is a little bit more vast than mine on the types of bottles from Alabama. He was able to nail it down within seconds. We did get this little bear aspirin. This is not as old. It is embossed though. And y'all know me, if it's embossed, I'm gonna keep it. This right here is one thing that I've never found before syrup of black drought now what is that i have no idea got to do the research and find out and i did get the little saint joseph so overall i would say it was a pretty good day especially considering we were just scouting and i hope that y'all enjoyed the old homes and being able to see them for a few seconds if you did please be sure that you're subscribed to the channel and we will catch you guys in the next adventure